<laughs> this is the most coolest can you guys oh if you guys can hear that sound that looks really it's like chains are you know being pulled by the ravages when it's walking i just think that that looks really really awesome or it's armor um, uh, in it i i don't know uh look you can even you can even like fight iron cones with these things two one let's go fight oh i'm going mind the ravager guys okay so the iron golem is more stronger than the ravager and then you'll die <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, Crafter Crafter is back with another Minecraft video and today I'm gonna be teaching you how you can morph into any mob in Minecraft, that's right, you can be any animals, anything in Minecraft except blocks, you, you can just turn into an entity like creepers, zombies and all of that stuff, skeletons, how cool is that, if that's not cool. I don't know what's cooler but anyway hmm let's go ahead and turn to this video but first you should leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content like this but yeah let's get into this video ladies and gentlemen so let me present to you my beautiful creation the Morpha Machine. Hi, <laughs> woohoo! How cool is this, guys? Look, look, look at this! Look at this! It's absolutely made by me, and I just think that this is really, really awesome. I don't know, I don't know, but, but yeah, this is the Morpha Machine. So first off, we've got here the Zombie Morpha. So if you click that button, we we specifically going to turn into zombie. But I, my favorite is the Creeper. And the ravager over there. Then we've got the zombie creeper, uh, pillager, villager, a witch, and a ravager. Now, the witch, I don't recommend to use the witch because if you are in survival, she'll literally just uh, give you some potions and you're going to die. All right, I don't, I don't recommend that. And this here is it will turn you back into a human form again. She's absolutely um, going to be easy if you like want to turn into creative or uh, adventure mode or survival all right so let's go ahead and turn into a zombie first now all right let's go ahead and turn into a zombie here first let's go ahead and um, go to first person back just like that we click the button I can't oh there we go and look at that okay we're burning in Minecraft now the only problem here is it's, it's kind of looking down which is a, a little oh geez, these guys uh, look you can control the zombie where you want it to go but the only problem here is it's looking down which is makes it a lot creepier because it's it's gonna walk towards your you know players which is looking down which is absolutely really really cool and really really awesome I don't know the zombie just Ah, uh, I just, I just look, ah, oh, it, it's yawning, guys. I just, oh, look, when you, like, uh, go to somewhere and, you know, the zombie is walking by itself with the, literally not seeing its path. Like, it's, it's gotta go bump into the wall, like, oh, look, its head is stuck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn into creepy, guys. Oh, uh, now we gotta turn into a creeper. Next, let's go ahead and click this in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> the creeper! We are the creeper. We go to players and go boom, and we are we are good. We are literally a creeper. But uh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. So the next is the villager, the most annoying mob, if I do say so myself. But actually, really, really cool. There we go, we are the villager. How cool how cool are we? We are literally the villager. Look, we are found we're, we're inside the villager's head. Look at that guys. Oh I can see I can see his eyes and its big nose. We're inside the villager's head, guys. Look at that. The there's literally nothing on the in the villager's head. Pretty much yeah. 
he doesn't have a brain, he doesn't have anything at all. Okay, so the next is the witch. The absolutely uh, less annoying than the villager, but kind of creates that spooky sound there. <laughs> like, I don't know. Look, look, she's, she's literally laughing, and this witch also doesn't have anything in his head. In her head, I think. I don't even know the gender of witch, you guys. But if you go like fly and you know go down like whoop, they won't take any damage. I don't know how is that working, but they definitely don't take damage, and they will. You can control them however you want, and I I hate that. I hate that spooky sound. Let's let's get out of here. There we go. It's dead, guys. Let's go ahead and um try the last one, the Ravager in three, two, one, bang. Oh, we are a ravager. I want to see this. I want to see this myself. All right, let's go ahead. Go to first person front. Oh, <laughs> this is the most coolest. It's like, oh, this is so weird. Look, it's literally rotating itself. Can you guys, oh, if you guys can hear that sound, that looks really, it's like chains are, you know, being pulled by the ravagers when it's walking i just think that that looks really really awesome or it's armor in it i i don't know uh look you can even you can even like fight iron cones with these things in three two one let's go fight oh it's fighting guys who will win ravja versus iron golem i'm the ravja guys okay so the iron golem is more stronger than the ravja Okay, as promised, I'm gonna show you now how we can actually go ahead and turn into any mob in Minecraft. Alright, so first thing is you wanna grab a command block. Now, if you don't know how to get command block, go ahead, go to chat and give at the command underscore block. And just hit enter and you will have a command block. Now, how can we actually do this? Now, you wanna grab a command block. Put it anywhere that you want. You can hide this in your like secret base and stuff. A redstone repeater, and then any activation device. So I'm gonna use a button, and also a random block, which is you wanna put the button. Obviously, you can just put the button anywhere, right? You wanna grab out a random block. You wanna put it just over there. Okay, let's just put it underground. Put it into the first tick. Alright, into its first tick, put a button over there, and then you want to grab a command block again, crouch, and put a command block on top of it. Well, actually, you can put a command block just like over here, just like we have in this machine, but I think that this will more, well, this will give more space than like that. So, I recommend just doing this, and then you want to grab out another command block, put one just like so. Now this one you want to put this into repeat and always active just leave it this one you want to put it into chain conditional and always active just like that perfect this one is will give effect to you so you can so you, you will so you won't be able to be seen so this one is gonna give you an effect of invisibility go effect at p invisibility for like nine for like a million seconds and then 255 and true so they can see the particles going around you you want to go to the second human block you want to click here you want to go uh summon yep summon any mob that you want so um i think i'm gonna use okay what what mob uh, uh an iron golem and I'm going underscore golem just like now you literally can use any mob that you want you can think of so I just use an iron golem in here you want to put TP at E type okay I'm okay type under up oh, equals iron the mob that you uh, choose golem and then close bracket you want to put here at and then P just like that leave it alone and you've got a demorpho machine you want to click it and it will automatically turn you into an iron golem now we actually need to have a back to human 
a machine also because you can't back into a human if you don't make one of these I'm gonna grab out a redstone repeater put it in this first stick uh, grab a command block and then you also want to crouch and do the same thing over here on the second command block on top of this command block you want to put this into chain conditional and always active just like that and then in this command block you want to go effect at p clear just like that and then in this command block you want to put kill at e uh, bracket and then you want to put here type and equals the mob that you picked so for me it is an iron golem up oh, on underscore and then golem oh no golem and close bracket you want to uh, oh yep just like just leave it alone and what am i doing here okay then you've got a more for machine just, that's how easy it is you only got five to nine blocks how cool is that how easy is that i don't know about you guys but let's go ahead and test this out all right let's go first turn into uh third person back you want to click the button which is actually really hard because i can't see what i'm click what i'm there we go i'm uh, i am i am an on golem how cool is this guy i don't know and if you want to go back you just you just you just want to click the button now this is actually really hard because if you click look the the mob that you have is actually going to take damage now how can you click the button without uh taking the mob uh, having damage or like the creeper that we did earlier we punch it and it go boom so we need to sprint okay i can't see you need to sprint oh, i can't see this is glitching okay we need to sprint here sprint and then quickly click the button okay it's actually really hard but you need to do it the body of this iron golem is huge i can't do it i can't you know what you know what i'm i'm mad i'm actually mad you wanna go kill at e just kill everything and i am done i'm still invisible so let's click this all right there you go and yeah that's pretty much it uh, that was a mind-blowing eh? tutorial guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy today's video i definitely did now if you want more tutorials keep on uh be notified by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss a brand new tutorial or any upload that i'm going to upload in my channel so yeah i'm gonna see you really really soon but until then i am out peace